What's up guys, Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm starting a Red Zone Mini Scheme series. It's out of Chargers and Broncos books, so it's perfect for my ebook. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys check out the ebook below. It's in the description. It's not too expensive and I give you guys everything out of trip site in. And this video is perfect because it's gonna match right with it. It's right in the same exact playbook. It's also not in the in the ebook, so it's something that no one has seen, even if you guys have purchased the ebook. And it's really good to have a, a scheme that you can highball a lot of passes in and you can run the ball effectively out of. And that's exactly what this scheme is. So we're gonna start today with the run plays. Then I'll make you guys two more videos later on with high balls out of one out of X post, which is only in the Chargers and Broncos book, and X post at a different setup out of the Broncos book. So that's the reason why we're in that book. If you guys are in a different playbook, you guys will likely have single back wing tight. So you guys will have the run plays, stretch, dive, but you won't have the passing plays that we have out of Chargers and Broncos books. So if you guys want to use the run plays, by all means, it's very good run plays. It's good without the passes. You guys should be able to add it to your game. But if you guys are in Chargers and Broncos book, it's going to be even more effective because you guys are going to be able to pass the ball out of it. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. Okay, boys, so you guys see we're in single back wing tight. I'm going to use stretch and I'm going to use dive throughout the video. Basically, if you have a right-handed quarterback, which is most of the guys in regs, you're going to want to run it flipped because you want your right-handed quarterbacks to hand off with their left. If you're using Michael Vick and Mutt or another left-handed quarterback, you're going to run it regularly, and that way you're handing off with the right hand. So I'll show you guys why that is during the video, but we're going to run it against a few different things. We're going to run it against 4-3 normal, nickel 3-3-5, and then we'll run against big nickel. So we'll start at 4-3 normal, I guess. Just come on in Tampa 2. Uh, and you're going to want to playmaker the run towards the wide receiver side. So just right stick on the right, just flick the right stick to the right, move the run over. So you're going to motion saw bear here. You're going to hike it right between like the right guard and the right tackle. And it's going to get you guys at least a free five, six, seven yards most of the time. Now they block shed it right there, but it's got a potential for touchdown almost every single time. And it's got pretty much free yards every single time you run it. This gets really good blocking because you get that extra blocker, that tight end, getting downfield and picking up a block for you, which you wouldn't have had normally. So right there, just motion it in. Now, uh, my tight end looks like Hooper. Yeah, Hooper's getting dominated right now, but that's the only reason why they're stopping me on any of these runs. And right there, you guys see, pretty much getting free yards every single time. It's one of my favorite red zone runs, that along with the stretch. And I'll show you guys uh, when I use the stretch. The stretch is more situational than than the dive. The dive I can pretty much run against every single thing that I, I go up against and it's gonna work. So most of the people honestly aren't in 4-3, but I get comments every video, oh, run it against a power formation, run it against a 4-3, you know, I'm like, I'm just gonna show you guys that the runs work. People are gonna stay in big nickel or nickel 3-3-5 or whatever they're in most of the time. I That's literally what I'm gonna do. So you guys can see, the only way I've really been stopped is if uh, someone gets dominated at the line this dive is working really well for me. You get an extra block from Saber and you get a chance at a free touchdown. So, free yards every single time. Now, when now I'm going to go to uh, dive against nickel 3 through 5 and big nickel, and that's when you're going to run a mix in the stretch. So the stretch against 4 3, I pretty much never run. But out of uh, against a nickel formation, I'm going to mix in the stretch, and I'll show you exactly when. So, come on, nickel 3 through 5 here. Same thing as before, play back on the run to the right, then we're gonna move Saw Bear. Now, you can hike him between the right guard and the right tackle, or you can hike, hike him outside of Hooper. It's up to you guys, it doesn't really matter which way you do it, but you're pretty much gonna have free yards. It's gonna crush 3-3-5, uh, literally crush it every single time. So, definitely wanna, definitely wanna mix this in if you're playing against 3-3-5. And just pick your, honestly, you can just pick your gap. So like, it's gonna be different holes every time depending on where the user is. Obviously, there's no user on our field. It's really just picking a different gap, whichever one's open, and you're going to make a play. So sometimes you cut back left, sometimes you cut right, sometimes you just run it straight up the middle. And you got a chance for a touchdown every single time, and you mostly get like five, six, seven, eight yards for free. So the middle linebacker right there made the best play that he's made out of the five times I've ran it, and we still got six yards. So that's really the only way they even have a chance to stop it is if their middle linebacker makes a play, like he does right there and we still get two to three. That's probably the best it's gonna be for them though. Literally the best that they can possibly do. And now I'll show you guys now why I run the stretch, right? So the dive obviously works. Now, if they if they happen to not, so if they have auto flip on, it's gonna be like this. You can try to catch them and flip it on your own, but if they, for some reason, don't have auto flip on and they have it like this, I'll audible to the stretch and I'll play maker to the right. So this is the way we're gonna run it. Same exact motion. 
and you're just gonna go with the stretch go get uh get out there and make a play for you so i made a bad cut right there i needed to go outside but that's the only reason why i run stretch if they happen to flip it and have their nickel on the opposite side you'll let Saber just go out there and pretty, pretty much seal the edge for you and let you get outside and go but that's that's the reason why i really run the stretch just because if i see them out there without without any nickel to force me back inside uh i'll be able to make a play out there but it doesn't really it doesn't really matter too much and you don't have to do sob air either so right there you see that's the exact thing that i was looking for from the stretch but you can do pulsing too if you're in the stretch uh definitely don't want to do pulsing if you're in the dive but if you're in the stretch pulsing's not bad either let him steal that edge for you but i only run this if the nickels flip so i'll show you against big nickel as well but that's the only time I really mix in the stretch is because when they don't have that nickel over there, you basically get free free yards with a chance of the touchdown, just like you do with the dive. And it's a different gap to shoot. So if they're shooting the gap on your dive, it allows you to mix it in. So just try to catch them if they're if they're doing that. You mix in the stretch and you'll you'll have a good chance of free yards. But now we're going to big nickel. I'll show you guys I'll show you guys the dive against big nickel and then we'll we'll go over to uh, the stretch against it. really good though I mean you guys are gonna see the passing plays from this are really useful as well but essentially you really don't even have to pass the ball you can just run dive and stretch all day so big nickel and we're gonna flip our dive just like before and we're gonna go with Sabir so you guys see literally kills it so literally free yards it's a tough gap shoot um, I mean, that's the really, if you have a run that's tough to shoot the gap on, you're going to get free yards. I mean, if if uh, my left tackle could block worth a lick, I would have had two touchdowns already. But he sucks. So, right there, we got ourselves a touchdown. Been waiting on that all day. I'll run it a couple more times, but there's no reason to really drown this out on you guys. You guys have seen it against different formations. It works. It's tough to stop. Now, I'll show you guys the stretch one last time. Bad stick by me. I thought Alex Mack was going to get down there. Uh, I'll show you guys the stretch against the flipped uh, flip nickel. They might do that. I don't know why they would. I can't really give a specific reason, but you might see it. I definitely see it in mutt and in different different modes. But let's clearly see it works now. Obviously, there's no user out there today, guys. Uh, I'm by myself, but it's still going to be really good runs for you. It's tough for users to really make plays on their own, so uh, you need a defense to do it. So I don't know why my defense didn't flip just now. Yeah, for some reason, some reason he came back. I don't know what's going on, but this is not what it looks like in regular mode. If it does this again, I'm going to probably cut, and I'll make sure to set it up well for you guys. But stretch worked it still anyways. Um, let me see if I can flip this correctly. There we go. I don't know why. Practice mode is so quirky. It's so weird. Literally, I just, yeah, he's like, yeah. I don't know what's going on with that, but he definitely did something weird last play, but as you can see, I mean, <laughs> look at this. This is a, this is literally a free touchdown. If th Julio is one of the best blocking receivers in this game, so I don't know why he gets down. But this happens actually a lot when I was testing. It doesn't really happen in mutt, but watch Julio just. I mean, Desmond Trufant just became Dick Lane or something. <laughs> he just throws him down. I don't, I don't know, but if he doesn't throw him down, literally it's a free touchdown. Uh, you guys can see it's clearly clearly a good run formation. I hope you guys will add this to your game. I hope it wasn't the most boring video ever. I try to show it against everything just so you guys can see how well it works. But if you guys enjoy, man, like, comment, and subscribe. And shoot, man, just show me some love. I'll show you all some love back. Drop a love for me in the comment section. Just give me a little heart. Give me something. Take it easy. Peace.